Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ashta. I am from Bangladesh. My question is, if an adult woman who is 18 years of age marries without taking the permission from her parents, is the marriage valid? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with all happiness. Huge respect from Bangladesh. Please remember me in your prayers. If a woman wants to get married, it is a requirement that she takes the permission of her wali. And as far as taking the permission of her wali is concerned, the scholars, they have deferred upon this into two opinions. So even if the woman is an adult woman, as far as taking the permission from her wali, the scholars, they have deferred upon this into two opinions. The first opinion is the opinion of the Jumhur, that is, the majority of the scholars, including the three madahib, that is the Malikis, the Shafis, as well as the Hanbalis, they say that it is compulsory for a woman to take the permission of her wali if she wants to get married. And the wali of the woman is her father. And if a woman gets married without the permission of her wali, then her nikah, her marriage, it is invalid. And they base it on verses of the glorious Quran and on a hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessings be upon him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number two, 232. Do not prevent them from marrying their former husbands. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse he is telling that do not prevent the women from marrying their former husbands. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 221. Do not marry a mushrika, that is a disbeliever, until she believes. A believing woman, even if she is a slave woman, she is far superior than the mushrika, than the disbelieving woman, even if she allows you. وَلَا تُنْكِحُ الْمُشْرِكِينَ حَتَّى يُؤْمِنُوا And do not give your daughters in marriage to the mushrika, to the mushrik, to a disbelieving man, until he believes. وَلَا تُنْكِحُ الْمُشْرِكِينَ حَتَّى يُؤْمِنُوا وَلَا عَبْدٌ مُؤْمِنٌ خَيْرٌ مِّن مُشْرِكٍ وَلَوْ أَعْجَبَكُمْ for a believing man, even if he's a slave, he's far superior than the unbelieving man, even if he allows you. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is telling, he's rather addressing the wali of the woman. That is the father that do not give your daughters in marriage to a mushrik, to a disbeliever, until he believes. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is stressing upon marrying a person who believes in this verse of the glorious Quran. So from this verse of the glorious Quran, we understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is addressing the wali of the, of the girl, that is the father, that he should not give his daughters in marriage to a mushrik until he believes. And there are several ahadiths of beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that stress upon the importance of a wali for the nikah, for the marriage of a woman. Abdullah Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said it is mentioned in Jamit Tirmidhi, hadith number 1101, and this hadith is also mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud and Sunan Ibn Majah. La nikaha illa bi wali. That there is no nikah, there is no marriage except with a wali. And another hadith, Abdullah Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, أَيُّمَا إِمْرَأَةٍ نَكَحَ نَكَحَتْ بِغَيْرِ إِذْنِ وَلِيِّهَا فَنِكَاحُهَا بَاطِلٌ 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 That any woman who marries without the permission of her wali, so her nikah, her marriage, it is invalid, it is invalid, it is invalid. The Prophet, peace be upon him, he stressed upon this three times in the hadith. From the verse of the glorious Quran that I mentioned, and from the ahadith of beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we understand that the that for a woman to get married, 
the permission of her wali is very important and her wali it is a father her father as the scholars have said so the first opinion is the opinion of the three madahib and the majority of the scholars wherein they say that it is compulsory for a woman to take the permission of her wali in order to get married and her wali is her father the second opinion is the opinion of the hanafi school of thought and according to the hanafi school of thought it is not a requirement for a woman for a girl to take the permission of her father if she wants to get married and they say that the wali of a woman is herself so a woman she is a wali she is a wali of herself she does not need to take the permission of her father if she wants to get married but if we analyze and if we read the hadith of billah prophet muhammad peace be upon him that i mentioned previously when billah prophet muhammad peace be upon him said ayyuma imra'atin nakahat bi ghayri idni waliyha fa nikahuha batilun batilun batil that any woman who marries without the permission of her wali nakahat bi ghayri idni waliyha that she marries without the permission of her wali from this hadith we clearly understand that a woman she is not the wali of herself but she needs to take the permission of her wali as it is mentioned in the hadith and her wali is her father so if a woman wants to get married she should see to it that she takes the permission of her wali of her father if she wants to get married and the permission of the mother it is not compulsory it is not a requirement if a woman wants to get married so as i have said earlier the majority of the scholars they say that it is a requirement for a woman if she wants to get married she should take the permission of her wali and her wali is her father so i hope that answers your question